Hey guys, my name is Tori Letzler. I'm a composer, vocalist, and producer for all things visual media. And I'm really excited to be back with Heaviosity today to do a demo walkthrough of their brand new free product, The Foundation's Piano. Now I'm really excited about this. I use piano a lot in my scoring, as I'm sure most of you do. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna play through the track quick, just so you guys can see um, what is so amazing about this piano. And I have to say, in my template day to day, I only have two pianos right now, period. And I really, truly love uh, this Foundations piano, and I'm probably gonna swap out one of my current pianos for it. Uh, the fact that it's a free product and it's accessible to everybody just makes an added bonus. But I just think this piano is so uh, like real and vivid sounding, um, and the action on it is really, really lovely to play through. So let's uh, take a listen. Cool. All right. Well, now you've probably seen uh, from hearing through a bit of the track that I really wanted to keep this uh, sweet and simple. The reason I did that is because I think this piano uh, stands out so well on its own for just sounding so real and live. Um, the vibe I was going for was kind of like a Neil from Olafur Arnold's like ambient uh, felt piano, you know, kind of thing. Um, so everything I'm using in this session is all heaviosity. There's not a ton of instruments going on, again, because I wanted to keep it simple. Um, I'm using a little bit of symphonic destruction, the newer mosaic bass, um, and then the Novo Strings uh, Intimate Textures expansion packs, plus obviously the Foundations piano. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, and in this track, I'm using three iterations of the same preset, which is just the straight Foundations piano. I'll show that to you right now. So we have our lead piano here, which is just our first preset, the foundation piano. Let's play that. So just to look through um, what this instrument kind of looks like is we have a side that's piano and texture. So you can bring up either side of this instrument. We've got our effects here, uh, punch, delay, and reverb. Obviously delay and reverb are pretty self-explanatory, but I love this punch uh, feature that they've added in here. And the way that I'm interpreting punch is just quite honestly uh, how punchy the piano sounds. Similar to like what um, your velocity would do, but taking a little bit further. It's like how hard the player is playing and it almost pops the piano out of the mix. Now you'll see that there are parts of this track where I utilize punch and parts when I don't. And obviously it's because I want certain things to stick out more than others. On our lead piano, however, I have punch activated, uh, not brought up particularly, just slightly activated. And then the delay, just a teeny bit here. And then our reverb, it's pretty wet. Um, another thing we have in here, we have uh, a texture option uh, on 
over here. And then we have piano. You can mess with an arpeggiator in the gate. Um, I'm not really using that here so much, but it's there if you want to use it. I also have some external plugins working here, um, some saturation, some EQ. Um, that's just because, you know, our effects uh, don't include that here. But as you'll see, do not include any outside reverb or delay because we have that here. And then this lovely punch button. The only reason I'm adding some saturation is just to give it that like noisier um, effect that you hear in some of the neoclassical music. So the second iteration of foundation I have is this really swanky ARP. And so you can see the way that I'm using this ARP is I'm holding our root note B and I'm changing um, the bass notes to kind of move our ARP along. Um, I'm utilizing the triplets falling ARP preset, which I really like. Um, and you'll see I was talking about that punch button is not activated here because uh, I didn't want it to stand out quite as much as our lead piano in this section. But I am utilizing quite a lot of the delay and the reverb. And then on this, no external plugins used, just the beautiful sound of the foundation piano. The other things that I have in this section are just um, two iterations of our lovely Novo strings. Um, as you can see here, I'm using the Intimate Textures Pack. I'll just solo that real quick so you can hear them. Just kind of adding to our ambience, making it feel a little, uh, you know, melancholy and slow and sad and emotional. That was kind of like the vibe we're going for. Um, and I have a little bit of delay and reverb on here and EQ as well. So let's check out our second section. I have our same lead piano, our same ARP. Um, I've got our Novo strings and then I have our bass here, which is the mosaic bass. Just adding some low end. I'm using the uh, Mellow, the Subs Have It preset. Uh, I haven't messed with this until just now and I had a good time doing it. And then the last thing that I have in here is some iterations of Symphonic Destruction. I'm utilizing uh, the Lyrical Strings. Um, just because they're a little bit fuller than the Novo Strings, but again, keeping it really simple and light. So let's hear that real quick. <laughs> Okay, cool. Now our third section, I'm adding two more versions of this foundation's piano. We're going to have a counter melody that you see here. Um, and then kind of like this repetitive, um, not quite an art, but I wouldn't consider it a melody. So let's listen to what we got going on in this section. Okay, so all of the foundation pianos we have, I'm going to solo them. There's quite a lot. So let's hear those by themselves. Now, all three of our main instrument, uh, like melody aspects, are all just the regular foundation uh, first preset that we have. Let me open that up. Um, you can see on this one, just using uh, the foundations piano. And then I've just put um, a slight pan on it so it can go left and right to stay out of the way of our counter melody that we have here. And then um, obviously back to our lead melody, which we have here. Now, something that um, I want to show just as long as we're in this instrument, although I'm only using uh, two different presets for the whole track. There are quite a lot of presets in this for a free instrument. So let's check some of those out. Okay, so obviously we have our foundation piano. We have our clean and soft piano. We have our reflective piano. Then we have reverse piano pulses.
Then we have texture cycled um, holes. We have muted raindrops, which is an ARP. Staccato waves. Another ARP in like a slightly different rhythm. Triplets falling ARP, which I have utilized already in the track. The pulsing piano pads, which is rhythmic. Syncopated pianos. And then back to our foundations piano. So again, I'm only using two versions uh, or two presets rather in this track, but there are quite a lot of things you can use um, for a free instrument. If someone hadn't told me this was free, I wouldn't think it was. I would definitely pay for this. Um, again, I think it's going to be added into my template as one of my go-to pianos. So I'm really excited about this. So let's just listen to the very end of this track. I slowed down our tempo um, from 80 where we started down to 60 at the end and just wanted to get really slow, somber feeling and really showcase just how beautiful um, these instruments really sound. just going to solo this last piano that I have because I think it really shows how beautiful and live this sounds. Something I really like about the foundations preset um, as opposed to the clean, I think it was the clean soft, is that there's almost like a little bit of a pad underneath of it and that becomes more um, evident when you mess with the texture and the sustain and things like that. Um, something again that I just really like is that you can go into this instrument and you can affect uh, the attack, decay, sustain and release. Now the biggest issue that I have with pianos is just the attack often is not realistic or you cannot change it at all. The attack to me is one of the most important things when you're writing with piano because it can really, really alter the vibe of a piece. And all of my pianos have the attack set differently as well as the decay and the sustain because I want them to sound different. I want them to dif be differentiated and not sound like it's just one person playing a million parts on the same piano. I wanted everything to have its own unique kind of like flair and vibe. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my demo walkthrough of the new Heaviosity Foundations Piano. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do, and the fact that this product is free makes it so accessible for everybody. And the one thing that I think you should have in your arsenal of tools beyond everything else is a good piano. Um, so like, subscribe, follow for more. And once again, I'm Tori Letzler. Hope to see you around. Bye. <music>